Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. What do you say when someone sneezes in English? Do you know people? <laughs> Don't know. Okay, good evening one more time. Welcome to the last class of this module. Well, today is Friday. Um, good evening. Good evening. How have you been? Uh, so far, so good. Okay, good. What about you? I've been great. It's been a nice day. I finished some classes yesterday, so I have some free time today. I was able to watch a movie in the afternoon because I didn't have class. I finished yesterday. Okay. Nice. And I just saw that Alianza is beating fast 5-0. Are you a soccer? Oh. Are you a soccer <laughs> fan, people? Uh, softball fun. Soccer. Softball. Yeah. Ah, you softball. You like softball. Softball. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. So let's get started this evening. Oh, let me see. I haven't opened the attendance list yet. So let me open it. Pull up the attendance list. Everything is in is green here. Great. Okay, let's see Alejandra Maria Mejia Avelar. 
you here? Oh. Uh, somebody's writing in WhatsApp. Let me see. Teacher. Yep. No sé si ya dijo Carlos David López Amaya. No. Okay. That's <laughs> Or, uh, okay. <laughs> oh my who are you? Who is writing in WhatsApp that is going to be a listener only? A lot of Arabic symbols, but I don't know. Who are you? Okay. Uh -oh. Carlos David Lopez, you're the one. Present yeah. teacher. Claudia Margarita Constante Quesada. Present teacher. Okay. Concepción de Lourdes Núñez. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Christian David Galicia Ramirez. Yet. Dalila Cristina Gómez Luna. Present teacher. Welcome. Um, Elena Marisol Peralta Amador. Present teacher. Welcome. Gabriela Alejandra Ramirez de Galdames. Gabriela Noemí Orellana Tejada. Present, Mr. Montoya. Okay, Good evening. welcome. Good evening. Iliana Elizabeth Hernández Juárez. Here. Ingrid Morena Ventura Lucas. Present teacher. Welcome. Jefferson Alexis Pérez Ponce. Ayer. Jenny Acane Molina Cortés. Present teacher. Welcome. José Antonio Montes Fuentes. Present teacher. Welcome. Luis Alejandro Mendoza Orellana. Okay. Mariela Araceli Martínez Ayala. Olga Lisset Valdez Carranza. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Rina Margarita Arana Serrano. Present teacher. Welcome. Selma Yamilet Hernández Mezquita. Present teacher. Welcome. Verónica Alicet Alas Crespin. Present. Welcome. Vilma Aide Cortés Beltrán. Wendy Beatriz Aguillón Portillo. Okay, let's get started this evening. Let me share this the screen to study this. This is it. Okay. 
Okay, yesterday we uh, just I just read this conversation. Uh, let me read it one more time. We are going to work on it later. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Well, how about a riverboat tour? I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing. Okay. Uh, let me call your attention to some uh, structures here. Okay. This question, have you been in New Orleans long? Another question, have you been to a jazz club yet? Uh, have you ridden us in a street car? Those are questions. Yes, no questions actually. And then ah, very slow. Ain't work. Then the answers, so uh, let me see. I've already been to one. I've already been to one. Oh, fine. I've already done that too. And two, 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 that's it. Okay. So these instructors are what we call present perfect. These are present perfect sentence. Hmm. Yeah. You remember the present perfect uh, is formed with the verb have plus the past participle form of the verb. That's how we form the present perfect, okay? And we have many questions here as example. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. Or no, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's reading in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Okay. If you observe, we use yet uh, for questions, for example, yet here for questions. Have they eaten dinner yet? And also for negative answers. No, they haven't eaten yet. OK. 
Okay. Have they eaten dinner yet? No, they haven't eaten yet. We use yet for questions and for negative answers. And we use already for affirmative sentence. Yes, they've already eaten. Okay. Teacher. Yes. In this topic, all the verbs, um, always, always, and in past participle, right? Yes, that's right. In questions, in negative and positive, always. Yes. Okay, yes. thank you. Always. Okay. You see the question? Have you been? Now, the the past participle form of the verbs all the time. Yeah. Have you been to a jazz club? Oh. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Has he called home lately? Have they eaten dinner yet? Past participle. In affirmative sentence, the same. He has been to the club. Yes, he has twice. Yeah, they have eaten. The same in the exam. Have this one. He has written one. He has called home. They haven't eaten. Okay. The change uh, uh, is here with have or has. See? Have or has. Yeah, you see? We use has with he, he, it. In questions, in answers, in affirmative and negative. And have with you, we, they, I. In questions, affirmative and negatives. Okay. Now remember the contractions. The contractions. I have, I. You have, you. He has, his. She has, she's. It has, it. So be careful, do not confuse this, do not misplace this with he is, she is, it is. Okay? Teacher, how do I know the difference? Not asking. Also, do not misplace, do not have. Okay? So, how do you say, yo no tengo eh, fe? We don't say, yes, no. Do we repeat? I don't have coffee. Yes, I don't have coffee. So, haven't is not the same as don't have. Uh, I have no coffee. I'm not coffee. Um, I don't have. I don't have. Yeah. Have is not tener in, pre in, in present perfect. What's up? No. Yes. A ver. Yes. A ver. Yeah. I have eaten. Yo he comido. Ah. No es yo tener comido. O yo tengo comido. No. ¿Qué es lo que he hecho? A ver. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, well. Or a complete list. I, I think you must have a, a list of regular and irregular verbs already. Now, so... Uh,
look at this question here. How many times have you done these things in the past week? How many times have you done these things in the past week? Clean the house, make your bed, cook dinner, do the laundry, wash the dishes, go grocery shopping. Okay? The question should be, uh, let me write a, a question here. Oh. The question is, How many times have you, for example, number one, cleaned the house? Yeah? How many times have you cleaned the house? Let's say this week or last week, whatever. Let's say this week because we are, it, it is Friday today. Yeah. How many times have you cleaned the house this week? How do you respond this? Well, I have cleaned the house two times this week, okay? I want you to respond with complete sentences to practice the structure, yeah? Because you can respond two. How many times have you cleaned the house this week? Two. In speaking, spoken English is correct. But to practice here, the structure, I want you to respond, I have cleaned the house two times this week. Okay? So, okay. what about the other questions? Just write an answer for each activity, okay? Respond, please. And later I will ask you. Or look at this example. If you haven't done it, I haven't cleaned the house this week. If you haven't, if you have not done any of those activities, you say, I haven't cleaned the house. That is another possible answer, right? I have it.
I'm on I'm on mute. <laughs> Sorry. Carlos David. Carlos? Yes, teacher. Okay, Carlos. Tell us. Be honest. Yes. Be honest. How many times have you cleaned the house this week? I clean it. Uh, my answer. Yes. I okay. have cleaned. I have cleaned. And uh, uh, I had. I had clean uh, one. I had cleaned the house uh, three times this week. Aha, okay. I don't know if I have, if I can believe you. Okay. Claudia, Margarita. Uh, yes. How many times have you made your bed this week? I have made my bed every day this week. Okay, I believe you. Dalila. Dalila. Yes, teacher. How many times have you cooked dinner this week? I had a day. Sorry? I had a day dinner. I have cooked dinner. Look at the examples, please. Observe the model. I have cooked dinner, the activity in past participle, two times, three times. The question is how many times, people? Okay. Okay. Repeat the answer. Uh, um, what's the Lila? Repeat. I have cooked. Dinner. I have cooked dinner. Five times this week. Five times this week. Okay, very good. Elena. Elena. No. Gabriela. Gabriela Noemi. Yes. Okay. How many times have you done the laundry this week? Mm. Twice this week. I have, I have done tried. the laundry. I have done the laundry. Try price mm, this week. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Gabriela Ramirez. Hello. Okay, how many times have you washed the dishes this week? Um, I I have. I have washed the dishes every day in the night. How many times? Oh, every day. How many times? I don't know. Twice a week. Twice. Twice. <laughs> so not every day, huh? <laughs> It's yeah. Like okay. Yeah, but uh, the question is how many times? So okay. how many times is specific question? Five times a week, three times a week. Yeah. Twice a week. Okay. I have twice a week the dishes. I have washed the dishes. Twice a week. Twice a week. Okay. Good. Let's continue with Ileana. 
Eliana, how many times have you gone grocery shopping this week? I have go gro grocery shopping um, two times. Two times. Two times this week. Okay, okay. People. Excuse me, I need to ask you this, but are you looking to the screen? Are you looking to the examples? Yes. Okay, so you have to follow this order, this structure, people. Everyone, I'm talking to everyone right now. Okay, I have, and then the action in past participle. Clean the house or made the bed, my bed, or cooked, past participle, cooked dinner, or done laundry, or washed the dishes, past participle, or gone grocery shopping, I have done laundry, done the laundry. I have washed the dishes. I have cooked dinner. I have made my bed. I have cleaned the house. I have gone grocery shopping. Okay, and then Two times this week, three times this week, five times this week, okay? And remember the negative form, I haven't, and the action in past participle. Okay, we'll continue. Pay attention and, and practice yourself. Uh, when I ask to another classmate, okay? So, Ingrid, are you there? <laughs> okay, Ingrid, let's yeah. see. How many times have you cleaned the house this week? I have cleaned the house three times this week. Okay, very good. Thank you. Jenny. Jenny? Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, how many times have you done the laundry this week? I have the laundry for the morning, for the morning, uh, to the every, every day. Okay, the action is do the laundry. The past the participle, laundry. the past participle is done the laundry. Done. Okay, one more time. How many times have you done the laundry this week? Jenny? Uh, two? The sentence. Uh -huh. I have do the laundry for two weeks the morning. Okay. Two times a week. Two times a week. Two times in the morning. In the morning. Two times in the morning. Okay, teacher. I have pay attention. I have done, not do, done the laundry. Past participle. Okay, let's continue with Lourdes. Yes. Okay, Lourdes, how many times have you made your bed this week? 
I have made my bed three times uh, all week, <laughs> this week. Okay, okay, very good. Luis Alejandro. Are you there? Margarita. Margarita. No. Yes. Okay. How many times have you cooked dinner this week? Um, I have cooked dinner uh, every day. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I will take that. <clears throat> now, uh, Olga. Yes. Olga, how many times yes. have you washed the dishes this week? I have washed the dinners uh, to try the week. Okay. Thelma. Thelma. No answer. Veronica. Thank you. Okay, Veronica, how many times have you gone grocery shopping this week? I gone grocery shopping uh, one, one time a week. Okay, I've gone, I have gone. And Vilma? Vilma? Not there. Okay. Let's continue. Wow. We have a conversation. Let's complete this exercise together here. You see, uh, you have to complete these sentences with the verb in parentheses. Yeah? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay teacher. Remember that you are going to use the verb have and the past participle. For example, yes. I have already. The verb be says in parentheses. Been to aerobics class four times. I have already been to aerobic class four times. Continue with the rest, please.
Okay, people, number two, the question. Have you played that? Have Tennis you uh -huh. played? Hmm. Any sport this month? No. I. I haven't had. Haven't. Play. Haven't. Yeah. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. Had. Okay. I haven't had the time. Have. Number three, how many movies have you been? Have you? I have to have you been be this month. Actually, 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 I have. I have. I have. I have. have. This is be negative. Yet. I, have. I haven't seen any yet. I haven't. Okay, number four. Have you been? Have you been? Have you been to any interesting parties recently? No. I haven't. I have done. Done. Gone. I haven't gone. To any parties for quite a while. Uh, this have you called? Have you called any friends today? Uh, yes, I have already. I've already made. How many times have you gone? Have you? Have you gone out to eat this week? I. I have eight. eaten. Eaten. I have eaten fast at fast food restaurants a couple of times. Okay. Have you done much exercise this week? Yes, I have already been to aerobics class four times. Have you played any sports this month? No, I haven't had the time. How many movies have you been to this month? Actually, I haven't seen any yet. Have you been to any interesting parties recently? No, I haven't gone to any parties for quite a while. Have you called any friends today? Yeah. Ooh. Have you called any friends today? Yes, I have already made three I calls. Really Mute your microphones, please. Okay. Uh, how many times have you gone out to eat this week? I have eaten at fast food restaurants a couple of times. Okay. Do 
good. Well, let me move to this part just to make a observe the difference between simple present and and present perfect. Look at this. We use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. And the simple past for a specific event in the past. So the key is this. We use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. And the simple past for a specific event a specific event in the past. A specific event in the past. Okay, that is the difference between a present perfect and simple past. We use present perfect for an indefinite time. We don't specify the time and simple past for a specific event in the past. For example, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I don't specify. But in the second sentence, I specify the event. I ate one, I ate it once in Paris. I ate it once in Paris, so I specify the specific event. Or, no, I haven't. I have never eaten it. Eaten it. No, never. There's no specific time. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried several years ago. Specific event in the past. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Okay. And so um, let me show you the difference between when we use for and thin. For and since with the present perfect. How long did you live in Thailand? I I lived there for two years. So we use for when we talk about a period of time. For two years. A period of time. And we use since when we specify the time when the activity began when the activity started. I live here since last year. So I'm giving you the time when I started doing the activity. I have lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Okay? So that is the difference between four and since. Four is when we talk about a period of time and since, and when we talk when we started, when we began doing something. Okay, so that is the difference between for and since. Well, with this, we finish the manual. Um, And well, we'll see if we continue later. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, people have a good night. Complete all the homeworks in the platform. And have a nice weekend. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend, people. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, bye. Thank you teacher. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.